Hello everybody, welcome to the third lecture of the electrical power distribution course on the YouTube channel Electrical Design Learning. In this lecture, we will talk about the current carrying components of the electrical power distribution system. Generally, the current carrying components of the distribution systems have four, um, four common types. These are cables, wires, busways, and overhead transmission lines. All these four uh, types of uh, current carrying components uh, are uh, uh, they are they are uh, types of uh, electrical conductors which link between the different components of the distribution system with all of its parts. These types of conductors must be selected to be suitable for the conditions of the installations and must be probably sized to withstand the calculated values of the current which will flow through it. As we said, the main four types of the current carrying components in the distribution system are cables, wires, busways, and overhead lines. The first type is cables. Cables are electrical conductors with some special components which make it suitable to withstand the different values of current and different conditions of installation like mechanical forces and temperature. Let us see the main components of the cable. The most important uh, part of the cable is the conductor or the core. As we see in this figure, uh, this cable uh, have three cores. So uh, the first component is the conductor, which uh, at which the current will flow through. Then uh, the conductor is uh, covered with conductor shield, which uh, is made from a semiconductor material. Then uh, the insulator, which uh, normally will be uh, made from PVC or XLPE. Then it is covered with an insulator shield, uh, which is also a semiconductor material. Then the filler, which is uh, the material uh, which fills the space for between the cores of the cable. Then uh, it is the steel wire armor which uh, protects the cable from the mechanical strengths. Finally, the outer jacket which uh, cover all the components of the cable. Cables are used in medium voltage part of the distribution system to connect between the medium voltage distributor and RMUs, also between RMUs and transformers. Also cables are used in the low voltage part of the distribution system to connect between the transformer and the main distribution board MDB, and also between the different distribution boards and their downstream panels. The installation conditions of the of cables differ 
according to the place which the cables exist. The outer installed, the outdoor installed cables are usually direct buried. The cables entering the substations may be installed inside trenches and generally the indoor cables are installed on cable trays. This figure show us uh, the uh, cable trays which uh, is installed uh, down from the ceiling and uh, carry uh, some cables on it. The second type of the current carrying components are wires. Wires are another way to carry electric current with relatively simpler structure than cables. It mainly consists of an electric conductor covered by an insulator. Wires are generally used to deliver electric current from branch panels to final loads like lighting fixtures, sockets, and ATC. Wires are usually installed inside conduits which with uh, different materials according to the installation conditions, exposed or embedded in concrete or walls. These figures Show us uh, uh, some wires which uh, are installed inside a conduit and enters a large box. The third type of the current carrying components are busways. Busways are an alternative way of cables, which is preferred in some conditions of installation, like long distances in high-rise towers, long horizontal space distances in malls, other conditions like large number of load centers, or possibility of adding new loads in future. Busway consists of three main parts, electric conductors in the form of bus bars, insulating material between conductors and the housing. So this picture show us the main components of busway. Uh, first, the conductors, which uh, in the form of bus bars or parallel bus bars, and uh, the insulation, uh, which is found between the bus bars and uh, uh, and also around the bus bars. Uh, the, and uh, finally the housing which contains all the, com uh, the components of the busway. One of the main advantages of busways is the ability to move, remove or add loads using the plug-in units which are can be added to the busway at the position of loads. So as we see in this picture, uh, this uh, bus, this is the busway which connected connects between the transformer and the main distribution board, and uh, another busway which uh, get out from uh, the MDB and. Uh, have uh, many branches 
to uh, feed the different loads. So this uh, this is uh, the plugin unit which uh, get out from uh, the busway and to feed the load. So this uh, plugin unit or tab off can be removed or removed to uh, any place along the busway to feed any uh, any new load or uh, um, as uh, we can see in this uh, figure uh, this this plugin unit uh, can be moved to a new position uh, which um, which uh, is the, the load is moved to. Another advantage of pathways is the reduced required space compared to cables. The high cost is one of the restrictions which limit the use of pathways. And finally, the fourth type of the current kind of components are overhead transmission lines. Overhead transmission lines are used in some cases to connect between the medium voltage distributor and the distribution transformers instead of underground cables. Overhead transmission lines are suitable in rural areas where there are farms which are difficult to extend underground cables through them. In this case, the distribution transformers will be pole mounted. 